Deep in the rugged woods north of Oliver Springs, you'll find UTIA's Cumberland Forest, hundreds of acres of tall pines and thick orchards. For a forester, it's a visual treat and an educational opportunity. Mo the majority of our forests here in Tennessee are hardwood forests, and, uh, but what we're seeing are compositional changes in the forests. Martin Schubert manages the Cumberland Forest. He was one of the virtual presenters for UT Ag Research's annual Woods and Wildlife Field Day, talking about cherry bark oak and other projects going on here. Our effort is to extend that research, extend that knowledge that we're gaining by the hard work of our grad students and our faculty and uh, really extend that to landowners. This field day was one of several UT Ag Research events that went virtual this year. While no one wanted that, going online meant reaching a new and maybe even bigger audience. The virtual Milan no-till field day has 50,000 clicks or impressions to this point, hits from 36 states and 38 different countries. Other events have also been an online success. Uh, the virtual field days, on the other hand, have the opportunity to last forever. We, we can record them, we can make them available in the future. And so as you can see behind me, this is a shortleaf pine stand Virtual learning also meant a student became the teacher. Max Street is working on a graduate degree in forestry and presented at the field day on the restoration of pine oak stands. Street says forestry is like a puzzle, different species growing in varied settings, all to create life and beauty. I love being in the forest, I love seeing the forest, and then you know, in, in forestry, my section in silviculture, you know, you're able to, you're able to enhance the forest in ways that naturally that naturally occurred at one time. In-person field days are always preferable. Questions can be asked and answered, and it's a chance to show off a place like the Cumberland Forest. But we made do in 2020 the best we could under the circumstances. Meantime, trees still need to grow, and landowners need information to make that happen. This is Charles Denny reporting.